Hello everyone, this is Professor Raghavendra Jabak, KLS Kukri College of Commerce, Belagavi. So in today's class, we are going to start with sources of finance. Okay, so every business firm requires the funds for carry out the business operations. Funds are required to invest in fixed assets and working capital. So funds may be required for a long term, medium term or maybe for the short period of a time. Therefore, different sources of finance are available for the business firm can be classified into two categories. Okay, so the first one is internal sources, second one is external sources. So sources are classified into two. First one is internal sources and second one is external sources. Now we will see one by one what is internal sources and what are the external sources. Okay, so this is a chart which shows about sources of finance. Okay, so already we studied there are two types of sources. One is external sources and another one is internal sources sources so in the internal sources what will come retained earnings depreciation fund taxation provisions and other reserves next in the external sources again there will be two bifurcation that is short and medium term funds and long term funds okay under the short and medium term funds there are several things that is commercial banks higher purchase trade creditors fixed deposits Okay, and in the long term funds, shares, debentures, and financial institutions. So, these are the external sources of funds. Now, we will see one by one about this internal and external sources. Okay, next. First, we'll start with the internal sources. First, we will understand what is the meaning of internal sources. Okay, so internal sources are the sources of a fund which firm generate it by its own or self generated fund with the internal sources. Such self generated finance may be in the form of following. Okay, so the company, the whatever it generate by itself, self generated or internal adjusted funds are known as internal sources. Okay, so under the internal sources, what will come under that? First one is retained earnings. What do you mean by retained earnings? It is nothing but last year's surplus or profit which is retained from the last year. Okay, for example, if there is any amount is remain in the profit or the surplus that amount will be carry forward for the next year that we can use for the next year right so that balance amount of the profit is known as retained earnings next depreciation funds it is the fund which is kept aside as a reserve for depreciation from the profit such reserved fund also can use as internal source of finance okay so every business organization has to keep certain amount for the depreciation correct what is depreciation is nothing but a reduction in the value of fixed asset due to wear and tear correct due to the regular usage of the machinery its value will goes down correct for that we call it as depreciation so for each and machineries they have to kept a certain amount as a reserve for the depreciation okay to balance that depreciation loss correct so whatever the amount kept as a reserve for depreciation purpose that also they can use for a short period of time as internal sources next is taxation provisions a part or some of portion of profit which kept as reserved for a tax purpose such fund also company may use for the short period of time okay same how for the depreciation purpose the certain part of the profit will be kept aside as a reserve same for the taxation purpose also the company will keep it correct for the payment of tax at the end of the financial year correct so till the end of the financial year the company has a lot of time so before that if there is any urgent or requirement of short term funds so from the taxation provision or that reserve also the company can use the funds for their requirement so these are the certain internal sources of finance
okay so remaining part we will see in the next class